Good afternoon, everyone. Over the last month, we've seen incredible sized hail in South America. Sun halos abound across the planet from Russia to Brazil, Argentina, Germany, and the list does go on. As Marina thaws, hundreds of thousands of frozen fish appear down in South Carolina because of the extreme cold, 98% of the white shrimp wiped out. So not only is the cold affecting our terrestrial crops, but also the aquatic life. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. Now as galactic cosmic rays increase, you're going to start to see more of these events. This is what is considered borderline world record hail recovered in a single piece that hit the ground. This is in Argentina on February 10th. And as cosmic rays create more cloud cover, in addition to all the aerosols that are up there from the volcanic eruptions, we're going to see more of this intense hail like has been reported through the last grand solar minimums, especially the explorers in the U.S. in the early 1800s. If this were to hit you, you would die. Also, there seems to be a plethora of extremely large hail centered around South America at the moment. It's just report after report of this large size hail, anything from eggs, even a little bit larger up to the size of oranges. Also, other atmospheric anomalies that occurred through the month of February, these sun dogs, these sun halos are everywhere on the planet. Our atmosphere is absolutely changing. This is from Russia, February 14th. Why not here? This is spectacular, the way the cloud striation is coming through there as well. Jumping over to Germany, February 6th, another instance. And the ski resorts in France also. And then over in North America, British Columbia. Down in South America, this incredible double halo with a rainbow reported in Brazil. And then other February 25th, Paraguay and Argentina, multiple reports. You have to remember, these used to be an incredibly rare capture. And I know we all have more mobile phones and cameras, but this is becoming something to the extreme. We're six days out of the month saw these what were considered rare halos. Now shifting gears, let's go into the aquatic environment. This is up in Iowa. The marina thaws out. They usually leave bubblers under the water, but the fish kill this year, amazing. All these fish came up as the ice is starting to break and thaw at the moment. Generally, the marina uses bubblers which churn the air and the oxygen, but this year the ice was so intense because of the extreme cold that there was nothing they could do. Images here for you of fish that had floated through the ice and refrozen again as it goes from colder to hot during the day. And then jumping down to South Carolina, the shrimp. I don't know how many of you eat shrimp, but look for these shrimp prices to skyrocket. White shrimp, 98% loss in the fishery due to absolute devastating cold. This comes from the Department of Natural Resources. The water temperatures dipped below 48 degrees Fahrenheit across South Carolina's shrimp fisheries. They say that it's a 98% loss. They don't even know if they're going to open the fishery and when this year. But what was shocking for the director of the office and the fisheries management was how fast it dropped. So the mortality of our fish and our sea life is also being affected by the cold. And now we're starting to see wipeouts of crops terrestrially with these cold weather fronts, above normal temperatures during some areas which allow early fruiting and budding, and then wham, these extreme cold events come in. This is exactly what was seen during all of the grand solar minimums. If you look back in the historical documentation, they all talk about the exact same thing. Unreliable growing seasons and out of season storms that wipe out entire yields for the year. 
I understand we have global shipping now, but this is becoming a problem. I don't know how much longer they can mask it in the media. These losses are coming from every front at the moment. And I thought I'd leave you with a little bit of beauty and warmth today with these papalanthus wildflowers. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the media. Our skies are changing. Our food supply is in jeopardy. And still nobody's talking about this in the mainstream media.